for as long as I could remember, I've always been the shy kid in school. I wouldn't call myself an introvert because I didn't learn that word as a kid. I probably thought it meant turning green or something. Maybe I'm shy because I was really attached to my mom as a kid. Like, on my first day of preschool, when my mom dropped me off, I was probably bawling. No, I was not dunking basketballs. I was crying my eyes out. Figuratively, of course. Imagine being locked in a room with 30 or so other filthy kids and some adults you've never seen before in your life. Didn't your parents teach you not to talk to strangers? Because mine did, and that was exactly what I was going to do. Not talk to them. Anyways, it took like the entire school year to reach the point when my mom could drop me off with my eyes dry. But eventually, I made a friend. Let's call him Richard. So, me and Richard got along pretty well. We were interested in the same stuff, like dinosaurs, Pokemon probably, and playing on slides. In the classroom, we had one of those tiny indoor playgrounds with stairs, slides, and other contraptions that kept us entertained. So one day, our teacher, and now I don't remember her name since it's been so long, so let's just call her Ms. Obama-chan, was splitting us up into groups to do different activities, and Richard gestures to me. Hey, hey foolish, let's go play on the slide. And so I was like, uh, okay. So when it was Richard's turn, he asked the teacher if he could go on the playground, she said yes, and then the teacher looked at me. Okay foolish, you can do this. Stop being a shy little pinky finger. Just ask her if you can go play on the playground with Richard. Easy. There's nothing to be scared of. You've got this. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> so foolish. Do you want to go read a book with Aaron? Uh, well, actually, uh, 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 okay. You dumb, dumb child. So... In the end, I was probably upset that I couldn't play on the slides. Richard was probably confused about why I didn't ask such a simple question. And my teacher is probably sitting on her couch wondering why I called her Ms. Obama-chan. 